Hi everyone, it's Liam here from A Shot of Wildlife and in this video I'm going to tell you almost everything you need to know about the European Badger. European Badgers are the UK's largest remaining land predator with adults growing to between 70 centimetres and a metre long. Their weight varies throughout the year at 6 to 7 kilos in the summer and twice as much in the winter at 12 to 14 kilos. They have a striking black and white striped face with a long and broad snout and small eyes and ears. Over most of their bodies their fur is silvery grey but their legs and feet are darker becoming almost black at the toes. Badgers have five forward pointing toes on each foot which leaves a characteristic footprint and they also have a rather insignificant stumpy tail. Badgers live in communal family clans which can number from just two individuals to more than 20. They are nocturnal and spend the daytime in a series of underground chambers and tunnels known as a set. Badger clans sometimes live in a set for many years, sometimes even decades, and the largest known set had a tunnel network of 879 metres and it had 50 chambers and 178 entrances. In places where badgers are not persecuted, they can emerge whilst it's still light, but usually they'll begin to venture out of the set after dark and follow well-trodden paths throughout their territories in search of food. Their diet includes earthworms, slugs and snails and wild fruits, nuts and seeds. They're also known to eat small mammals such as mice, rats, squirrels and rabbits and amphibians such as frogs and toads. They're one of the only predators capable of catching, killing and eating hedgehogs. Badgers have really poor eyesight, but this is more than made up for with their strong sense of hearing and exceptional sense of smell. During their nightly patrols, they'll also use a communal toilet known as a latrine, often along the edges of the clan's territory, and sense from this let the other badger clans know who has been there. Badgers sometimes roam outside of their family's territory and come into contact with other unrelated badgers. This is good news for the females, which are known as sows, as from 12 months of age they become ready to breed and can come into contact with unrelated males, which are known as boars. They can mate at any time of the year, but this often takes place in February or September. The sow doesn't become pregnant straight away and instead carries fertilised eggs until December time when she'll become pregnant properly and the cubs will begin to develop inside her. This pregnancy lasts from 7 to 8 weeks, after which point she'll give birth to between one and five cubs deep underground in a maternity chamber. The cubs are born furless and blind, but on a diet of rich milk they grow quickly and by around eight weeks of age they look like miniature versions of their mother and she'll bring them to the surface to meet the rest of the clan. Over the next three months, the young badgers start joining the adults on foraging trips and by five months of age, they are fully independent. In the September or October of their first year, some young badgers, especially young males, move away from their mother's clan and either join a different clan or start a brand new set. This happens more in areas where there are not many badgers about, but in places where there are several badger sets near one another, the youngsters are more likely to stay with their original clan. Although badgers are active throughout the year, during the winter they'll often remain underground, sleeping for long periods of time and relying on their built-up fat stores for energy. They're very social within their clan and communicate with each other through a series of grunts, squeals and whistles. It wouldn't be right to make a video about badgers without mentioning a controversial cull that has been going on across the UK over recent years. The cull is trying to reduce the spread of bovine TB to cattle but unfortunately, most studies show that it isn't working and by culling some members of a clan, the badgers may actually travel further and increase the risk of spreading TB to new areas. Despite the cull, one quarter of the world's badgers are in the UK, with between three and 500,000 of them living here. European badgers are also found across most of mainland Europe and into some parts of the Middle East. Wild badgers have an average life expectancy of 5 to 8 years, but they have been known to live beyond 15 years in the wild and a captive badger survived to 18 
and a half years of age. Well, there we go. If you learned something new, check out this British wildlife video. And if you enjoyed that, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>